People go after NBA athletes, Instagram models. Michael Rupees, Jordan appears to be in the same situation. Michael Jordan cannot date just any girl. I'm sure a lot of guys are wondering if you mean he's wealthy or that he's found the woman of his dreams. Yes, you are correct, but he could have been duped. So he can't just pick a random girl like you or me. They must be more selective in who they associate with and date, just as Michael B. Jordan must be if he wishes to date Lord Laurie. It makes more sense, Harvey, than dating a girl who works at Walmart and has nothing to gain from having a child. Devin Booker, who plays for Michael Jordan, is in a similar situation. This explains why he is currently dating Kendall Jenner. It makes sense because her sisters are Khloe and Kim Kardashian. But because some of these women are somewhat trustworthy, they don't tell everyone in the entertainment industry what's going on. Many people have them. Okay, they are widely disseminated. Lori Harvey dates a lot of businessmen, and Chloe Bailey is now dating another businessman. They usually date each other and move around a lot. We know this and think, well, he's simple and stuff, and I get it, but you have to realize that they can only deal with a small group of people, and one of them has been repeatedly called out. Andrew Bogut, a former NBA player, is the current starter. He used to play in the NBA, which is why many of you are familiar with him. I believe he attended the University of Utah at some point. And, um, he made fun of Kendall Jenner during the NBA draft because she always jumps from guy to guy, and he was correct on two tweets. I'll take care of the first one, he said. He claims that despite the fact that the 2022 NBA draft ended yesterday, one big name has yet to find a team. Who will take it? Kendall Jenner is a strong and adaptable team member who is always talking about herself. He needs to see a doctor because he injured himself. You have to admire it, and of course, the feminists went after him. Even if it is true, it is not an appropriate way to discuss her. She has the ringing bell. She is, without a doubt. He apologized and said, this day in music, I'd like to apologize for this tweet. I had forgotten about the most important people. Next time, I'll do better. He keeps bringing up the fact that she dates a variety of men, but I believe what he means is that it makes sense for many NBA players. Many of the NBA's female players aren't even available for serious relationships with these men. The only thing they do right for these guys is make sure they don't complain on the podcast. Lauren Harvey, according to Michael B. Jordan, will never do a podcast or go on the air. So there is some safety, but here's the catch, these women are only using these men to draw attention to themselves. Kendall Jenner and Devin Booker will never marry, and if they do, they will divorce quickly. Lori Harvey had no intention of marrying Michael Jordan. This has become the norm for these guys. They will switch from one guy or god to another until they hit a brick wall, which is significant in the grand scheme of things for the average guy. This is something I'd like to discuss. On average, people don't have much to be concerned about. But who says you have to be a normal guy? That is the issue. Many people will not be like you. Some of you will go on to achieve great things. You could be going through a difficult time or a change. But one day you'll be a top-tier guy. Will you believe that when people find out who you are, they like you because you've suddenly become a great guy? Do they like you because you earn a million or half a million dollars per year, or do they love you? You drive a nice Range Rover and earn at least $100,000 per month, possibly $1 million per month. Which one is it going to be? This is something we haven't discussed yet, but should. Okay, the average guy who ends up in the middle class is doing well in life, and women are aware of it. How will they perceive you? Will they ever be wealthy again? The whole point is that you'll get used to it if you don't know what you're looking for. You must be aware of this and decide whether you are okay with someone making money or gaining power as a result of your actions. Jenner, Kendra. Despite the fact that he does not require his money, they are both from the same social class. Lori Harvey didn't require Michael B. Jordan's money, but their circumstances were similar. You'll understand what I mean when you arrive at your destination or if you're already there. You understand what you had to go through to get to where you are now. You'll have to work harder to advance, and more women will like guys like you. And it's possible you're not such a nice person. You may appear to be a good match because you belong to the same social and economic class, but in reality, you are just a number. What should you do if you believe you are unique because you are in bed with her? She's even calling out to you. It doesn't matter if she makes you feel special, bro. Some of you need to understand that there is a woman out there who can love you and wants to be with you. It wants to hang out with you and get to know you better as a man. It may even want to marry you or do something else with you, but the longer you can maintain this level, the better. Women from all walks of life want a man like you. Certain guys will never understand. They are already aware of the situation. 
I'm not sure what's going on. The problem is, you can't see it. Call out these women for what they're doing because it's sexism and hate speech, but make sure you're aware of what's going on. They're not after you because you're a good person. Instead, they are pursuing you because you are a member of that social and economic class.